Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To open the Vendors page in QuickBooks Online, click the Expenses link in the navigation bar. Then click the Vendors tab at the top of the page that opens to the right. Alternatively, hover over the Expenses link in the navigation bar and then roll over and click the Vendors link in the side menu that appears to also open the same page. Alternatively, if using the Business View, click the Get Paid and Pay link and then click the Vendors link. After you add vendors, they appear in a vendors list in this page. You will also see a Prepare 1099 slash Pay Bills slash Order Checks drop down button and a New Vendor slash Import Vendors button in the upper right corner of the page. To add a new vendor to the vendors list if you haven't added vendors yet, Click the Add Vendor Manually button to open a vendor pane at the right side of the window. Alternatively, to add a vendor if you already added vendors, instead click the New Vendor button in the upper right corner of the page to open this same vendor pane. The vendor pane is divided into the Name and Contact, Address, Notes and Attachments, and Additional Info sections. A toolbar appears in the upper right corner of the pane with buttons you can click to jump to the corresponding section. To hide this toolbar, click the minus button at its right end. It then appears as a menu button towards the upper right corner of the pane next to the X button. To show the toolbar again, click this menu button. Type the vendor's company name into the Company Name field. If needed, then type the vendor's name into the title, first name, middle name, last name, and suffix fields. Use the Vendor Display Name dropdown to choose how to show the vendor's name in your lists and forms. Then type the vendor's email address into the email field. You can enter the vendor's phone, mobile, and fax numbers into the phone number, mobile number, and fax fields. You can enter any other customer contact number into the other field. Then enter the vendor's website into the website field. If needed, to choose how to print the vendor's name on checks, enter the desired name into the Name to Print on Checks field. The Address section lets you enter the vendor's address into the fields provided. After entering an address, you can click the Map link below it to show the mapped address in a web browser if needed. To add notes about a vendor, enter the notes into the large Notes field in the Notes and Attachments section. To add an attachment, click the Add Attachment link in the Attachments field, use the open dialog box that launches to find the attachment, click it to select it, and then click the Open button in the dialog box to upload it and attach it to the vendor record. To record the vendor's business ID number or social security number if needed, type it into the Business ID number slash Social Security Number field in the Additional Info section. To track payments to this vendor for 1099s, check the Track Payments for 1099 checkbox. You can enter an hourly billing rate for this vendor into the Billing Rate Per Hour field if applicable. To select the payment terms from this vendor, select a choice from the Terms dropdown. If you have an account number with the vendor, you can enter that into the Account Number field. This value appears in the Memo field of all vendor payments. To set a default expense account for purchases from this vendor, select it from the Default Expense Category drop-down. If creating a new record for a vendor to whom you owed money for bills already received as of the start date of your company file, enter the amount you owed and the start date of the company file into the Opening Balance and As of fields. For vendor records that you create after starting your QuickBooks company file, you will leave these two fields blank as the amount you owe to those vendors will be recorded by the bills you enter to track your payables. To save the vendor record when finished, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the pane to save the vendor record into the vendors list and return to the vendors page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachyoucomp dot com forward slash free